Hi guys, this is Kim from Abundant Life Tarot and we are here doing our monthly love readings and this month for January 2018, so excited to say that, um, we are going to combine the singles and the couples um, because I found that it was just too complex for me to break it up by singles and couples as much fun as that was for me. It was too time consuming. And there's really no need for it because sometimes the readings that I would do for uh, the couples would kind of bleed into for what guidance I would give to the singles and vice versa. So um, we're going to combine it. And um, yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to say is a huge apology for last month's uh, videos because they did have poor sound quality. Um, now I have a new microphone, so hopefully the sound issues are all resolved. And what we will be now doing is monthly readings for all 12 astrological signs. And this will encompass um, the overall energies, your romance energies, your sensual sexual feelings and energies going on. Um, something that's impacting your love life for that month some romance guidance and then um, a closing card so it's going to be quite a bit of info packed into these videos so i think this format will work best for myself and for you all um, but let me know what you think um, in the comments below and so um, yeah if you decide later that you want a more in-depth, more personalized reading tailored to just you. You can also hit me um, at my uh, email or my other methods of getting in touch with me to have a private reading uh, because this reading is really just a general reading for the astrological signs. So uh, without much further along, here we go. Let's get started. Hello, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot, and this is for our Geminis, both coupled up and singles, male and female. And we are doing your January monthly love reading. And we're going to first just take a quick look at the overall love energies for the month with the Dear Heart Oracle. So we'll get a jumping card in just a moment. Okay, Gemini. We're working with passion as the overall energy for the month of January. And what I see here is we have the flaming red hair going up. And that tells me that um, both for the coupled Geminis, there's going to be a lot of passion and connectedness with your partner in the month of January. And for our single uh, Gemini's it's going to be heating up in the dating world for you and you will be able to exercise some of that passion so to speak so this uh, theme will be coming up quite a bit in the month of January for you Gemini's all right so now let's look at the overall romance energies in the tarot this is the Celtic tarot and we're looking for jumping cards we are looking for Gemini, both single and coupled up energies for romance, for love, for relationships. Okay, we'll just go with that. We have the Six of Wands. Oh, there's three cards. Oh, the Ten of Swords is the middle card. And then the King of Swords. Okay. In terms of love, for some of you, you know, if you're in a relationship, you'll find that um, you, your partner will be acknowledging you, will be um, not just acknowledging you, but just really being thankful to be in your company, really um, cheering you on 
you're going to have that support system coupled Gemini's. Also, Gemini's for our single ones, there will be a time during the month where you will be what they call like the cat's meow, where people are taking notice to you. They are cheering you on. The, you know, you have friends who are really supporting your dating life. Um, they want to get you out and about. So they're pushing you out there. Maybe they see, you know, you guys go out dancing and they're rooting you on. Also, there's going to be people who are admiring you uh, from near and afar um, in the month of January. Now, that's for some of you. While for others of you, uh, as we see here, we have the Ten of Swords. Swords deals with the mental um, processes of our minds, like the thoughts, um, the anguishes, the, the pains, all of that comes into the sword's energy, um, that mental, um, I guess, crown chakra energy situation going on. Um, you have the person laid here bleeding, feeling like they're stabbed in the back. Um, for some Geminis, that may very, very well be the case. You'll have a moment where, um, you very well were stabbed in the back by someone, maybe a partner, and you really thought that was the end of the relationship. And then what happened is, you know, maybe you and this person have moved on from this past uh, transgression that they did to you. And now there's a new dawn emerging, but you still are dealing with the current pains of being backstabbed, of being hurt, of being, you know, transgressed, transgressed against. So um, you may have to do some deep healing work surrounding that situation. For our coupled uh, Geminis, I see that either this is something where, you know, this is a point at your relationship where it's kind of gone to a point of no return in some relationships for some Geminis where, um, you know, something's happened. Either you did something or your partner did something. I don't know. It depends. Um, it depends really on who maybe it was, you know, the male energy or the more dominant energy in the relationship that ultimately did the transgression in the relationship that takes the relationship to a point of no return. But regardless, there has to be some healing to take place if this relationship is to, to try to be salvaged at this point. Whether you are in a committed relationship with this person or whether you are um, just dating this person. So that's something to look at. And then we have the King of Swords, you know, here is the Ten of Swords and why I feel like this is either something that has recently happened in the past or will come, you know, in January, you'll be dealing with it swiftly, but you will deal with it and you will get to the other side because the King is also a culmination, if you will, of, you know, finally gaining all that pain, all that pain gains gains knowledge for the person, gains experience. So you will come out at the end of January stronger for it. Maybe some of you guys will actually break up with some partners, some boyfriends, some husbands, some wives, um, girlfriends, etc. And you will be moving on while others will be in a new way, a point of no return for the way the relationship was. I mean, there's water here. If you look closely, this person is on, you know, they're, they're, you know, on an emotional place where they will not be able to go back in their relationship. But that could also ultimately be a good thing. Maybe you guys weren't living in your most authentic way, even after several months and years of being together. But now this thing in your relationship happened and now you guys can be in a new way, a new, more honest and authentic way. And sometimes that's way better than going along to get along in a relationship because that gets boring still and it's not sustainable. 
Um, okay, so moving on, let's look at, um, actually, I would like to do before that, what may be impacting the Gemini relationship or love life, single or couple. And this is with Dormy Virtues, Butterfly Oracle. Sometimes I'm called to read from the guidebook and most times I'm called just to look at the cards. I look at the cards anyway, but You know for intuitive hits but sometimes I'm called to look at the book like I might be called today we're gonna do an intuitive hit first so the card that comes up is relationship dynamics just what I was talking about um, this month January for Gemini's it's going to be important to for our coupled ones to really take a look at what has happened in the relationship or what, where you would like it to go and shift it and think about thoughts of how you envision your love life to be going forward and really moving in that direction. And the same goes for singles. Look at the kind of relationship dynamic you wish to have and then start to write affirmations and put them put sticky notes in your bathroom of your love affirmations every week freshen up the affirmations every week and then say them out loud because it's important for you to focus in on what it is that you do want so i want to take a quick look at the guidebook for relationship dynamics and it's so on point with the other cards now i'm encouraged by the fact that there's passion there between probably you and your partner for the couple ones. So that can help sustain the relationship to get you to the king of swords um, here. However, it could also be passions, fiery passions that are unbridled, untamed and tearing up things. You know, maybe it's even causing people to have stepped out of the relationship even, but you know, this, these are things that can be worked through if you choose to. So we're going to look at the guidebook for relationship dynamics. This card indicates that there have been some changes in one or more of your relationships with your family, friends, or romantic partner. I'm going to put this here. There's a sense that you have less in common and are growing apart. This may be because you are now more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. Perhaps in the past you numbed your emotional awareness and now your feelings are quote unquote awake. The most important relationship of all <clears throat> is with yourself. So you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in this situation. Yes, relationships involve compromise but ultimately if you're denying yourself happiness this will have a negative impact on the relationship therefore you are guided to be honest with yourself about your needs even if it means working with a counselor for support as you make changes all of your relationships will be affected it's time for you to sort through your feelings about each of them to bring healthy balance into your life additional meanings Moving your relationship in a healthier direction, a healed relationship with yourself, individual and or marital counseling, I will add, need it. A new person entering the picture, changing the dynamics of other relationships, just like what I was talking about. And also what I get from the passion card is check your passion barometer in your life, both in your love life and in your everyday life, your work life too. Where is it where it's like dialed all the way down to like almost nothing where you need to crank it up? That's the same for your relationships too. It Passion needs to be there. But it, passion, a real great bubbling passion comes from being in authentic personal relationships. So you've got to be able to have that open, honest communication with 
your partner. This is so poignant and on time with the rest of the message. Wow. Okay, so we're going to look at the sensual healing, sensual, sexual energy card for Gemini, single, and couple for January. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, so you have some great things going on. Again, passion, right? You have the Ten of Cups, Gemini. Look at that. Hmm. And then you have the Six of Cups. So what I'm getting here in terms of your sensual, sexual energies for the month of January is that emotionally, What's going to be frustrating for some of you is that you'll have a sense of being so connected with your partner in terms of an emotional connection, a passionate connection, and an intimate connection where you guys are very um, sexually connected and you have great chemistry with one another. That will definitely be the case which is why it's frustrating and why you just can't simply walk away from the relationship especially for our Gemini's who are starting to date a person and you're finding out something about this person that's bringing you guys to a ten of swords moment uh, for some of our uh, folks who may not at first in January have any one on the horizon you know you're just kind of out there you're trying to get out there to date well, this bodes well that you will be making an emotional connection with someone probably at the mid to end point of January uh, because this is the Ten of Cups. And so I think it would be a culmination towards the end of January that this person will come into your life and you're like, wow, I am really emotionally connected connecting to this person and vibing with this person I want to I want more because this person is taking me back to a place where it feels good familiar old school kind of love and I'm enjoying that I'm digging that and so you'll be very there will be a lot of sexual chemistry between you and this person for those who are not yet you know having sexual relationship with uh, with someone so and then for the coupled up ones this also still bodes well yes you got emotional and relationship issues and dynamics you have to work out but what's holding your relationship together is the sexual chemistry that you guys have and that you just continue to go I mean you you're both you know so careful at least in terms of how you guys feel in the bedroom towards each other so you got that going on and you are so familiar with each other you can't really imagine living your life without this other person so you just at this point like okay there is something left here to salvage for the relationship whatever the ten of swords is in your relationship this could be for anyone if you want a more specific reading Gemini's you can contact me for a private reading where we can get a lot more specific than this because this can pertain a ten of swords moment could be I, I have a book that could list all sorts of what ten of swords could be for everyone but I'm not going to do that that would make the video way too long because then I'll start going on all these different directions okay so we have that and then I would like to look at a love healing card this is from oh and I'm sorry this card is from the sensual wicca tarot and then this is your heal yourself reading cards and we're looking for a message of healing for the gemini's hmm. i like this one dreams get in touch Gemini with the kind of relationship that it is that you want the relationship of your dreams whether you're in a relationship right now or not 
You need to tap into what it is that makes you happy in a relationship, you know? I'm going to read the the guidebook here for the dreams card. This is an oracle or an oracle deck. Pay attention to your dreams. They hold lots of significant insight for you at present. Your dreams may provide you with important details about your current health issues or a creative idea. You need to take action to make your de desires manifest. Dreams can also give you clues about what is challenging you emotionally. Sometimes your loved ones who have passed over or people who have lost, you have lost touch with connect, with connect to you while you sleep and offer valuable messages that can give you peace of mind or the strength to persist through a challenging situation. Take note of both the dark and the light aspect of your dreams. In particular, pay attention to any recurring dreams as they often have significant meaning or wisdom that can help you. So this card is dealing both with the dreams of your life and the dreams of nighttime. And some of you might be very lucid dreamers. I can't even remember my dream from like two minutes ago. Um, while others can, they may hold the clues and the keys on how to navigate the difficult situations that may come up for you in January. And then paying attention to what kind of relationship you want. Get clear about what you do want and stop focusing on what you don't want. Okay, so let's see. I think, oh, we have to do the Romance Angels Oracle for Gemini for the month of January for a love relationship guidance message or two. Couple of jumping cards, please. <laughs> and if not, I'll just pull oh. any other messages. I'll just do three. Okay, we'll stop there. First one that jumped is it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then the other card, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And maybe that's what uh, for our couples uh, or our Geminis who are in relationships, maybe that's what the Ten of Swords has to deal with. Maybe your partner made a big boo-boo in terms of finances and now you're feeling like you have to deal with the fallout. You feel backstabbed over it. Um, but it is safe to love your partner and to forgive them over that issue. I'm going to read the guidebook because I have a feeling this will have some great guidance for our singles. And then this will have some great guidance for our coupled up folk. All right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. 
Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life. And they'll do so, provided that you'll listen to and follow their guidance. Very good. Single Geminis. Here we have finances and career. I have a feeling we'll probably touch a little bit upon for our um, single Geminis. Maybe finances and career. Maybe career is keeping some of our Geminis too busy to explore relationships for our single ones. Or maybe finances are preventing that as well. Uh, let's take a look at this though. For our coupled. Money and love have historically been linked. And this card points to this correlation. The romance angels want to disentangle you from from financial or career pressures so that you may enjoy every aspect of life, including romance. While work can be a source of heart-opening satisfaction, it must be balanced with other fa facets of love, such as playfulness and laughter. You receive this card because you'd benefit from an infusion of such lightheartedness. Call upon the angels to elevate your mood, energy levels, finances, career, and anything else that will bring you peace. Again, so, you know, for a coupled up Geminis, you need to call upon, you know, sit and meditate with that. Like, if it was something with the finances, or maybe your partner got fired, or whatever the case may be, you know, just understand that your partner still loves you, still cares about you. And even if it's something that, I mean, there might be for some Geminis where they do end the relationship and it's not necessarily dealing with finances, it's dealing with someone stepping out on the relationship or what have you. But it's all good in the end, Gemini, because you, you know, you are loved. You are loved by divine spirit. It's all good. The love that you want wants you and it's coming. What is a final word or two that spirit has for Gemini for the month of January? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So we have kindred spirits, playfulness again, and balance. Wow. Okay. Kindred spirits. This is from the White Rabbit Oracle um, on Etsy. And kindred spirits. Your partner is your kindred spirit. So again, this is just confirmation that Yes, you guys have a bump in the road. Yes, it is difficult, but this is your kindred spirit. Do you really want to not go through this life with this person? While for some of you who may have just been dealing with past hurts um, in y'all's relationship, you recognize this is a card that is confirmation that you recognize that you're amongst your kindred spirits. While the singles are either going to meet their kindred spirit towards the mid to end of the month, or they're also with their girlfriends or their guy friends or whomever who are kindred spirits and that loving energy of when you're with your soul friends will allow you to be more in a heart open space to receive love in a romantic way. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Keep your playfulness. I think that was mentioned in the Romance Angels Oracle. You know, there's a sense that your relationship needs to be infused with more passion. And when you do that, you're going to have that sensual sexual connection. And then remember to keep a balance. Make sure that your needs are being met and your partner needs are being met. And, and be the one to strive for that. Sometimes we have to be the initiator for such change. Okay, Gemini, I hope that this message finds you well. I wish you many blessings. This is Kim from Abundant Life Tarot, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.